Hello family and thank you for coming in again tonight. Yes, March 10th, 1020 p.m. This is going to be our last story that we congregate together and try to figure out who's telling the truth and who's telling the lie. Okay, but we got another cheater. Yes, in the Real Housewives of Atlanta's camp. We talking about Greg Leaks, honey. And we got a picture of the so-called Juanita uh, Marshall who allegedly was calling herself spending some romantic quiet time with Mr. Greg Leaks when Nene Leaks was on the road trying to make that money for both her and her husband, okay? But he's, his claim to fame was Nene was never there for him and she was always out and about and he needed somebody to talk to. So, if it was cheating, then yes, he was cheating. But the only thing they shared was time. Time and conversation. That's what Greg claimed to fame is. But Nene is saying a whole nother different story. But before we go into it, hopefully my mic is not sounding like I'm in a dungeon or something. I still like the recording is kind of off. So, I'm about to check my mic frequency. It's this blue yeti I have. And I don't know why it's like it's i don't know like i'm hearing echoing but uh we'll work on that as we keep going along per each video but i want to say some hellos and some welcome to some people that have definitely come over that i haven't uh frankly noticed in the chat section we got a is it macy sims um i caught your understanding or your um your reply back, Portia, do like dressing up with some of her friends like they boxy twins or, or something to that degree. Yes, she did it with Phaedra Parks and now she's doing it with Tanya Sams. But it's cute. She's still young at the mind. Hopefully she'll get it together. Okay. But welcome, Macy. And uh, I also understood what you were saying. Um, let me see. Kenya, Nene, Portia. Uh, she gives us a lot to talk about with this Kenya drama. Yes, she, you know, she, as the blogger, YouTube content creator, Kenya does put a lot out there for us to partake of. But we have to say the same for Nene, Portia, Candy, and Tanya Sands, and even Mar even Marcel at times. They try to keep themselves out there, and we as bloggers try to keep you all in the know as well as ourselves. But you know, I'm only doing it for supplemental income. Yes, I am. Uh, and I do it for my family. You know, I don't want to be over here talking to myself, so I have to enlist the help of my family, my YouTube family, okay, to put in their spin on some things that they uh, feel I uh, do commentary on and they don't want to get a channel so why not come and, and be a part of my family affair and we blow up together okay that's what I'm saying love one teach one you know what I'm saying it takes a village to raise me <laughs> child please anyway I need everybody to be holding on to me because sometimes I'll be out there in yonder land and I need my family if my real biological family won't come get me uh, my uh, YouTube family would definitely come get me out the uh, dungeon or the, uh, uh, the abyss where I be swimming at when I be th going through my tantrum tantrums. You know what I'm saying? So I love my family over here that I've created. Uh, and they definitely navigate it to my uh, personality. Okay, so thank you, fam. And I want to say hey to Roxy Dawson. Uh, cheers to you, my love. Uh, glad to see you always uh in the comment section or uh, you know i'm gonna state that you're gonna always be in there i only saw you one time but you had to cheers up tossing up the glass and i said cheers back to you i expect to see you here every time i drop a video okay love thank you uh then we got denise thompson hey love girl hey how you doing then we got marie Paris. uh you want portia to go to school marie what you want to go to school to do flock out <laughs> We gotta take Portia in small doses, honey. Cause when we think she got it, she, go, you know, she likes Cynthia. Um, she, she just don't get it. You know, we try to feed. You know, we try to bring her to the water, cause we know she's thirsty. But sometimes she just cut up and won't drink. She just won't drink. So her head will make a soft behind in and every day. And I want to say hey to Ann and Nat and Marisol. You think he gave up? Well, I think he's down low. So we're going to be still out with that until he shows us something concrete. Okay? But you can go on with the gay analogy of Mar 
are and I'll keep it at the down low. I think he's bisexual. Okay. And I want to say Sasha I got a girl. Hey, that's how Sasha I saw. <laughs> I had to look and I had to smile because I just love your uh, name you deemed yourself to be known as. Sunshine Bell. Okay, girl. Woo, when you got bad things, you can always think about sunshine. she always bring you through. Okay, then we've got unspoken voices inside media. And I have to agree with you, love. No license means no marriage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you can't find the body, there was no crime committed. That's how the law see it anyway. So I'm with you on that. Bless you all. And let's get on into the story. That page six brought out on Miss Nene Lee signing. Well, Nene Lee was basically dropping her own tea. Okay, but we got, uh, I think it's Elaine Reslin. She's the author of this particular article. She titled it, Nene Leaks Accuses Greg of Inappropriate Relationship with Female Employee. And then Nene didn't hire this girl named Juanita. Did you not hire her yourself, girl? But anyway, hey. I spent away from the loved ones. You know they're going to get love from somewhere else. That's why you got to always cover your bases. But Nene, sometimes I think when you're out there yonder doing your thing, you ain't sleeping next to an empty spot on your bed. You probably got somebody laying there too. Even though you tried to make it seem like you were trying to introduce Greg to an open marriage type situation. Girl, I ain't, I ain't fooling with that mess. I ain't fooling with that mess. But... He could have been doing something all at the same time because he's a man in it. Okay, all right. But anyway, going back to the article, it says Nene Leaks and Greg Leaks' relationship drama will unfold on the Real Housewives of Atlanta this season. But page six have learned new details about their alleged inappropriate relationships of head of the couple storyline about an open marriage. Okay, on Monday. Nene 51 appeared to open up about the couple's infidelities on the Lip Service podcast saying it's fine with her if Greg, 63, steps out on their marriage as long as I don't find out about it. Well, that's pretty much anybody, Nene. Anybody can say that shit, okay? Because once we find out, it's going to be some consequences, okay? Let's say that again. It's going to be some consequences. And it's all going to be for the negative, kind of all for the negative. Going back to the it says if Greg wanted to go be with someone right now I would say go right on she said why am I going to try and keep him from doing something that he wants to do then I have to make a choice myself if I want to stay with him or not and I probably would stay with him I do what I want anyway I'm in New York he's in Georgia so Whatever he's doing, I don't need to know about it. Well, Nene, my thing is, just as long as both parties are on the same playing field and y'all are reading the same book, okay? Because if one person is not really fully aware of what the other person is doing, then that is an infraction. That means it's foul on the play, and that means, okay, somebody's cheating, okay? If y'all want to open marriage, state it. You ain't got to tell the public about it, but just let it know. Be known, hey, we got an open marriage. So I do what I want to do behind closed doors. You do what you want to do. But in name, we still married, okay? <clears throat> or if that's not going to be the case, then get a divorce, okay? Get a divorce. Hopefully you sign a prenup with Greg, and it's amicable. That's all you need. That's all you need to do, Nene. Is that too hard for you? But anyway, going back to the article, it says an insider exclusively told us Nene began seeing a man named Rodney in May of 2019 while she was launching her swag boutique store at the MGM National Harbor Resort and Casino in Oxon Hill, Maryland last summer. She spends a lot of time in Maryland, not only because of this boutique, but also because of her side guy, the source said, claiming that Nene's allegedly lover would pick her up from from the store take her out to nice dinners and the pair would dance the night away at clubs inside the casino oh my like, is that a fairy tale is that a fairy tale what up nene you got you got some cougar love going on you don't entice some young little 
hot sexy thing to spark your fire, girl. Girl, so what you doing? Is he spending up all your money in that name? Or is this man got money and he's older than you or your age? Tell me what's going on because we don't want the cougar to get played. All right? We don't want you taking care of two people. Greg, the old man that can't do too much but be your husband in name only. Okay? And then we don't want the young sharpshooter out there doing everything he can to take your money okay nitty you gotta be smart about this thing you gotta be smart all right but that's just my sidebar moving back to the article it says she flaunts her relationship with him around openly like they're together the source said rodney's full identity is unknown but we were told he is from maryland and works for the federal government okay what does he do at the federal government nitty what does he do Okay, but anyway, moving on from there, it says, however, a separate source who works at Felt, a nightclub inside MGM National Harbor, said the Real Housewives of Atlanta star only brought one man to the venue when she was a staple at the resort. Most of the time, she comes in with a couple of girlfriends, no one famous, the source said. She did come in once with her husband. She said it was her husband. The source confirmed that Greg was the same man Nene introduced as her husband. Pay six reached out to Nene's rep for comment. Since Nene's relationship with Greg appeared to be a hot topic among employees at Swag Boutique, Nene allegedly told her employees that she and Greg were actually separated. Nene has not announced to the media or her fans that she and Greg have split. The reality star only alluded to marital troubles in the, in season. 11 reunion when she admitted that they considered divorce the couple has just come off a difficult period in which nini struggled to care uh to take care of greg while he battled stage three colon cancer it would be easy to make a decision about divorcing greg if he didn't have cancer nini said i don't want to live my life unhappy but while nini allegedly had a fling greg allegedly also pursued a side piece of his own okay that's that one need on marshall uh i'm gonna direct y'all to a picture that i put out there uh in my video okay right under nini's nose a source told us greg or man proposition former swag boutique store manager juanita marshall because he was looking for companionship the source said they saw flirty texts from Greg to Marshall that allegedly said, Oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. I never saw anyone so beautiful as you. Well, Greg, what about Nene, honey? What about Nene? Did you say that to Nene? Because she kind of looked like Nene back when Nene was a little younger. Uh, of course, Nene was darker, but this woman is kind of a little fair uh, skin. But she was allegedly Greg's mistress. Uh, and once the video slide comes up, I'll show it to you all if y'all haven't figured it out already. But going back to the article, it says uh, Nene was always going, or oh, Nene was always gone doing her own thing. Um, so he had gave Juanita an offer. The uh, source added, if she played her cards right, he would pay for her mortgage and give her a monthly allowance. I'm like, what? I don't need any done. <laughs> Great, do you have some unforeseen money that's been stashed away, earning interest to call yourself going to be taking care of a woman in that way? No, Greg, you really want to hit your maker real soon, real fast, don't you? If Nene found out about that mess, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, However, when Page Six spoke to Marshall, she denied that she and Greg had anything more than a business relationship. Greg never popped proposition me the 31 year old total oh lord that's 30 some odd years difference oh my god girl you were trying to be a real real cougar no you got two foots in the grave two feet in the grave you still trying to swing it trying to drop it like it's throwing spread in the wide come on greg don't give yourself a heart attack but anyway that wasn't in this article that was my sidebar uh, going back, it said, Greg never propositioned me. The 31 year old told us I was a store manager, so I talked to him just like her other managers from her other locations talked to him. According to a source, when Nene heard about the rumors of a romance between Marshall and Greg, the reality star immediately picked up the phone to confront her husband, who allegedly admitted the romance was a long time ago. 
Okay, and then he said, you're done, and hung up the phone, the source said, claiming that the Real Housewives of, Atl of Atlanta star fire marshal and, um, and anyone else at the store who knew about the alleged affair. She also allegedly made them sign non-disclosure agreements. I left willingly because at the time it was just out of hand, Marshall argued in a statement to us. It was too much drama for me, so I decided not to stay. I walked away from the position. Nene opened up about this heated discussion on the Lip Service podcast, saying she called Greg and that he went insane when she questioned him about Marshall, making Nene think Greg was a meeting to guilt. Nene also said on the podcast that after Greg allegedly got caught, Greg told her uh, he spoke to Marshall because Nene wasn't there for me to talk to. Okay. Um, this is page six. Sorry, text between Nene and our source in which Nene acknowledged that there were rumors of an inappropriate relationship between Marsha and Greg. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star appeared to drop a few hints on social media about uh, what may have been going on in her personal life. On June 26, Nene cryptically tweeted, You find out your husband, boyfriend, been talking on the phone regularly to one of uh, your female employees as just a friend, but you have no you have no knowledge of it. Did he cross any lines? Ask for a friend since you all know everything. But he said, we never talk sex. I just needed someone to talk to. Nene never named Greg, but fans still speculated she was talking about her husband. On July 11th, the reality star captioned a photo of her and Greg on Instagram. <coughs> Excuse me. Two can play that game with the hashtags Life of the Leaks and Black Love. Okay. A few weeks later, Nene opened up about a conversation she and Greg had about infidelity. Greg says when a man steps out, it's because something you not doing right. Agree or disagree. Nene captioned a photo of the pair on her Instagram. He has to be kidding, right? My answer to that was bullshit. She didn't clarify, no, this isn't about us. It's a relationship discussion with other couples today. Despite her initial reaction, Nene allegedly told people close to her that Greg's indiscretions gave her something to talk about uh, for my storyline for the season of The Housewives. Nene and Greg's relationship is pretty much a business relationship. The source said Nene has ideas and Greg can execute those ideas. And that's the only reason. That is why Nita uh, Marshall, the alleged woman Greg was supposed to be uh, footsieing up with. Okay, people, that is Miss Juanita, allegedly uh, Marshall, the one Greg was so much into at the time and causing havoc. <laughs> with Nene, well, Nene had to say, "Girl, you gone. You're through. This is your last day." Okay, uh, without any repercussions coming from that storyline. So I don't know. Maybe Nene paid her off real good. Who knows, honey? Because uh, that's not how you get. It. That's not how you do your employees, especially when it's all allegedly. But finishing up the story, it said on November 10th, Nene spoke with Entertainment Tonight about why she would be fine with having an open marriage and be with other people as long as they're not putting anything in each other's faces that's not what we're doing she insisted but it was definitely a conversation that we needed to have because i feel like if one or the other is being unfaithful and you still want to be married you may as well be having an open marriage right it's kind of open to me Greg did not immediately return our request for comment because he didn't like that Nene. He wants you to himself. He wants you to yourself, girl. But we're going to see if we can get one of these uh, open uh, audios to play without buffering. That this was when she was at a lip service podcast and she was opening up about uh, the alleged affair or inappropriate behavior that Greg was having with uh, Miss Juanita Marshall. Hold on. So we were working together and I and one day I was in the stock room with her and I was helping her, showing her how to do certain things. And I had a gay guy who worked in the store with me. And him and her were friends and then they fell out. 
Oh. And we uh, had to find uh, so out you find everything. <laughs> so we had an employee meeting. Everybody's gathered around like this. I'm just I came in that morning in Maryland just to tell everybody some of the things they weren't doing and things they should do, how to sell, how to not sell, all this stuff. And then they were having friction, some of the employees. And we wanted to discuss some of the things that were happening. And so she was sitting there and the gay guy was sitting here and he said that I don't appreciate you you calling me a queen like they had some sort of argument and, they, and she kind of snapped back at him he said listen you wouldn't want to do that because you know I know your secret Gosh, uh. and then so she kind of was like you don't know nothing you know say whatever you're going to say and then he was like well how about you and Mr. Grand be FaceTiming and talking to us no. said, oh, oh my god <laughs> Mr. Grand <laughs> So I called Greg. I said, Greg, I said, I have you on speaker. He was like, uh-huh. I said, so you've been talking to Juanita? And he said, no, I ain't never talked to her. You got to be I was like, okay, you have five. He's too damn emotional. Like, he went insane. <laughs> okay, you got it. And one question, Dang he was pop. screaming, like going crazy. And then I said, okay, you weren't. And I hung up. And then her phone beat. Oh, so I was sitting wow. There, she picked up the phone. I said, I got Let it. me ask He didn't yeah. say Juanita who? I got it. You know they got to say who then first. Then he called me back, and then he started trying to come up with all these stories. We were just talking. It went about nothing. We were just going to And I looked at Juanita. was looking at me. I said, so you know what you need to do, don't you? And, and then she was, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? I said, you need to drop your keys and your bag. And get out. And she kept saying, well, can I talk to you? I said, you know what you need to do, girl. And he still, he was like, we never did anything. We just talked on the phone. We never talked about sex. We never talked about anything. But why was we he talking just to her? On talking the phone. Her. And I said to him, why were you talking to her on the phone? Anyway. And his, 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 and I put this on social media too. His answer was, because you weren't here for me to talk to. Uh, and I said, that's They like cool. to blame. Yeah, he said, you weren't there for me to talk to. Right. So I, we were just talking because you were never available to talk to. Okay, so as you hear, from the audio, Nene was speculating that Greg was cheating with that woman that I showed y'all in the clip, Miss Juanita Marshall, allegedly. And she caught them uh, red-handed from her explanation of the sources. And that's why she felt Greg was having an inappropriate relationship that she didn't give him permission to have. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so family now it's your time what say you family about this incident of nene leaks accusing greg leaks on having infidelity issues with her behind her back honey family speak to me tell me what's on your mind okay let me know i want to hear from you guys now uh, on what you feel about this subject matter, okay? And then again, as always, like the video, share the videos, and get people to come over here and subscribe to our channel so we can um, interact with each other on a daily basis or on a weekend basis. However, you want to come and partake of our videos, okay? But it's always going to be something over here for you to gravitate to, to sink your teeth into. For you to have an opinion on and speak your mind about it. Okay? That's what we do over here. We talk shit all day, every day. Anytime we get a chance to upload a video and sit and bring the family in to host with me. That's all we doing. <laughs> we talking shit. We making uh, speculations. We trying to make a scenario out of something. Okay? Just, a, you know, the small banter. Just to get the uh, mundane day out of the way. You know what I'm saying? But y'all be blessed. I will see y'all next video. I am going to bed after this, okay? Say my prayers. Get in my bed. Get in my comfortable position. And go to sleep. And I wish sleepy uh, drops on you all. And the rest very nicely throughout the night. Alright? I'll see y'all next video. Take care of yourselves. Good night.